Mercury Radio Network. I want people of America to be able to work less for the government and more for themselves. It's a wonderful time to be alive. Let us be shy no longer. Angel Song and Mercury. Somebody's got to say it. We will be. The real conservative truth lives here. We will this is the final closing typewriter video commentary thoughts. Last night, Stacey there's never been a better time to build. Especially this since the, the construction industry the was one of the hardest hit when the housing bubble burst. Of course, construction workers weren't the only ones who were hurt. So were millions of innocent Americans who've seen their home values decline. And while government can't fix the problem on its own, responsible homeowners shouldn't have to sit and wait for the housing market to hit bottom to get some relief. And that oh, please. You and your stupid relief. You and your stupid relief. Ugh. Oh boy. Anyways, it's me, LH Music. And this is the final closing type of video commentary thoughts for you and Al Who. That's right. Thursday, January the 26th, the year 2012. Part two of this one. And we're, we're in this part one. We always talk about this. You know who. The state is, is our union is getting stronger. You might think it's so smart about the opponents of actions or excuses. And you might think that uh, the economy was built to last. We're getting to this fourth one. It's the free markets. Free free market world. And if you think, think you're so smart about this one, oh gosh. Oh boy, check this out. I think... It doesn't make sense at all. Watch this. That's why I'm sending this Congress a plan that gives every responsible homeowner the chance to save about $3,000 a year on And the how can you save that? at historically low rates. No more red tape. No more run around from the banks. A small fee on the largest financial institutions will ensure that it won't add to the deficit and will give those banks that were rescued by taxpayers a chance to repay a deficit of trust. Deficit of trust? Deficit of trust? What? Ah. This makes me sick to my darn, darn stomach. You might think you had to cut through, cut through this, all this red tape, and now you try to tell me, tell everybody to be the deficit of trust? You know, the, those free markets in the free world has money in their pockets, in their, in their mark, stock markets are rising up to the top. Like the Dow Jones and S&P and whatever it is. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing is, Chris Obama is making me sick to my darn eagle mind stomach. As far as we concern. <laughs> oh, so much for that one. Now, get this. I'm not making this up. Neither did anyone else get me civilized. Here's your worst nightmare. The Buffett Rule. What is the Buffett, Buffett Rule? I'll tell you, I'll tell you what the Buffett Rule is. And I'll find out what it is. Trust me about that. <laughs> Take a look and watch this disaster about the Buffett Rule. And you might think it's so right about the earning a million dollars. Give me a break. Uh, I guess you don't want to know about this one. Trust me about that. Uh, so, trust me about that. When it comes to the deficit, We've already agreed to more than $2 trillion in cuts and savings. But we need to do more. And that means making choices. What? Right now, we're poised to spend nearly $1 trillion more on what was supposed to be a temporary tax break so wait, for what? the wealthiest 2% of Americans. And that's the Buffett, Buffett rule? Right now, because of loopholes and shelters in the tax code, a quarter of all millionaires pay lower tax rates than millions of middle-class households. Right now, Warren Buffett pays what? a lower tax rate than his secretary. 
Stop right there. Stop right there. According to Rush Limbaugh.com, it's like, <sighs> can you believe this woman? Can you believe this woman? You might think it's uh, Rush is right. This one is Warren, Warren Buffett's secretary. Not secretariat, secretary. Give me one good reason why. Rush, Rush answered this quick question. Does anybody know what Warren Buffett's secretary is? That means he says he's giving away 70% and he's giving away 40%. In other words, in other words, you might think it's so small that um, gets away 70%, 40%. But what about giving to charity? About 32 point million? And you might think the Buffett rule is this uh, class war war warfare rally, if I would say so in, in the first place. You might think of the lower tax than, than uh, Ernest of this one. Oh, God. Oh, this is a crappy thing. Oh, God. One more sound bite. This is a nation. You might think it's so sorry about, about this nation. Because we got our each other's backs. Oh, God. Take a look, watch this. This makes you flip your lip. learned from our actions abroad over the last few years. No, not from you. Ending the Iraq War has allowed us to strike decisive blows against our enemies. Oh, jeez. From Pakistan to Yemen, the Al Qaeda operatives who remain are scrambling knowing that they can't escape the reach of the United States of America. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now, look at Nancy Pelosi! What's she doing here? From this position of strength, we've begun to wind down the war in Afghanistan. Oh, my God. 10,000 of our troops have come home. So? 23,000 more will leave by the end of this summer. So what? This transition to Afghan lead will continue, and we will build an enduring partnership with Afghanistan. And how are you going to do that? So it, it is never again a source of attacks against America. Against the... Um, you would think the nation is a... Nation is great because what? Of this... You know who? We get each other's backs. How dumb. How really, 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 really dumb. And you, and you mind if the president wants to challenge us Americans, us conservative people, patriots, Tea Party people, to follow the examples of this armed for Here's a surprise that you don't want to know. According to you know who, that's right. You know who. BigJournalism.com. Mitch Daniels wants to respond. Obama class warfare, even more than class warfare. And this will surprise you. Trust me about that. I quote this from A. W. R. Hawkins. It says that when it comes to announce that Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels would give the huge response to the high standard of State of the Union address, hopes were hot. Take it to Obama that he might be the rhetoric, you the rhetoric, of class welfare, exploding free markets, personal responsibility, smaller governments, and etc. etc. But instead, what we have heard last night that uh, what we heard last week, uh, last Tuesday night, that Mitch Daniels was more than class warfare aimed at the rich people. Aim at the rich people. Here's, his, here's an example for you. After saying some things about this one, that's right, the president, you, Obama, are being reckless. Spending. To put in a huge explosion. But Daniels is right on the money. That's why he went after this wealthy country. Like, uh, anyone else can be civilized. Consider it the way. And what about Medicare and Social Security? Quote this. We must unite we must unite to save the save the safety net 
net of Medicare and Social Security. And save, that's right, save us. Or should I say serve us well. And we can preserve the unchanged and untouchable for those in our Ne those in or near retirement, but we so must fashion in new safety nets. Nets. Now, see how you like this one. And I won't take no answers. Ladies and gentlemen, does anybody any wonder why Obama is just full of pathetic lies? Or should I say the audacity of hypocrisy as far as we're concerned? That's right. Hypocrisy. <laughs> This is what happens. 1,000 days of rhetoric. 1,000 days of lies. How pathetic. Ugh, Mitch Daniels is right. And also, Rush is right, and so is Hannity, and so is Big Journalism, and the rest of conservative bloggers, and whatever it is, talk radio shows, whatever it is. That you, President Obama, are the rhetoric. You are the scum of the earth. As far as we're concerned. And, and one more thing. Rush is right. I hope, hope you fail. 1,000 days. I hope you fail. Loser! That means you are wrong. Incorrect. Checkmate. You lose. Period. That's all I can say. Now I feel better. And <laughs> all I can say is, don't even listen. Early music, how could you criticize President Obama? He's got, um, no. Like I said, President Obama is such a sore loser. And never take no for answers. Take no prisoners. That's all. Case closed. In the discussion. No more. Be it. That's all. Now, inside the letter approach, we're going to have some fun tomorrow. On my final closing time factor, Friday video come three thoughts from dailymotion.com instead of ustream.com, whatever. And until we get this weekend, I'll be here on the radio for an all new time factor radio show on Premier Radio Networks. And so is our musical guest, Lawrence and the Machine, on. Uh, <laughs> On an all-new Time Factor television show, television show after all-new Hosey and so is before all-new episode of Huckabee and all-new Justice with Justine. Just about that. Anyways, we're gonna get out of here. Thank you, Mitch Daniels. And you're right on the money. Facebook me and follow me at Facebook.com/slash LH Music Time. So it's Twitter.com/slash LH Music Time. Check my website LH Music Time Factor. Weebly.com for the real conservative true lives here for my Time Factor website. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow from dailymotion.com So it's Time Factor website, lhmusictimefactor.weebly.com As always, LH Music is signing off. Go with God's blessings. Take care. Bye-bye for now.